live to the new tubers battle royale you know thank you there for you joining go. us for the pre-game show we appreciate you being pre-game. here today yeah now we're on to the main event proceeding to the games we, we are beginning now <laughs> as the tributes stand on their podiums the horn sounds sally runs into the cornucopia and hides senior Tripolsky the vagabond runs away from the cornucopia this is actually not his first time participating he decided to enter again under a oh. pseudonym oh. so he is our mystery contestant so professor cats prof- excuse me professor candy cats right. runs away from the cornucopia sorry i didn't mean to butcher your name like that professor lil jack runs away from the cornucopia you know he's very upset that he got beheaded last time by a certain somebody i'm I not gonna point fingers take, listen i take literally full responsibility because he had it coming just gonna be real just gonna be really <laughs> had it coming Dark Custom snatches a pair of size. Oh, nice. Oh, this is the one you had to look up because you're a huge idiot and don't that know is. what size are. But now I know, Ed, for those of you at home who don't know, size is the those like three-pronged knife things that I think it was Donatello from TMNT use. Good for him. He's already yeah, got a leg up him. on this. He's yeah, got a weapon. Yeah. Uh, honestly, honestly, a solid move coming out of uh, Dark Custom. I hope to see more play like this in the future from him. We're, uh, this is someone to watch, an up-and-comer. Creeper on TNT scares Zidui away from the cornucopia. How do you let that happen? The weirdo Maxim runs away from the cornucopia. Ash now also snatches a pair of size. Okay. That's okay, good for her. Yeah, we're going for like a, a very Asian theme here. I wonder if someone's going to do a samurai sword or like a regular sword, maybe a broadsword, bastard sword, Zwei-hander. You know, I mean, there's a lot of varieties, obviously. Infucate runs away from the cornucopia. M Not runs away surprising. from the cornucopia. Ooh. Wes runs away from the cornucopia. You know what? This is, this is making me happy. This is making me very happy because these were high-profile players. We're seeing make early runaway moves. Yeah, you know, if they just get out there immediately, they can find all the loot before anyone else. Winchilix, Captain Obvious, and Boner <laughs> work together. <laughs> is that together. Guy Fieri? Yeah. Is Boner Guy Fieri? Yes, but he's Boner. Like fist of the, but he's Fist of the North Star Guy Fieri. I get it. All right, don't judge Boner. All right, they work in mysterious ways. Damien Castaway grabs a shovel. I don't know what he to, needs a shovel to for. Bury Probably his to, ass later. <laughs> I was gonna say to bury all of everybody's body, but I know maybe <laughs> so he can dig his own grave and jump in. Ace snatches a bottle of alcohol and a rag. God, he's already Ooh. trying to make a Molotov yeah, burn down Molotov. the whole building. Bored under the sun runs away from the cornucopia. Yeah, Flirty people... runs away from the cornucopia. A bike pump grabs a shovel. Another great choice. These people are thinking ahead. Wholesome Vigilante snatches a bottle of alcohol and a rag. Oh, Ritsu snatches a pair of size. God, there's three sizes in the game already. Yeah, for real. You guys... You've watched too many movies about ninjas. You you don't know how to use a scythe. It's a bad choice. Should have gone for the shovel. Very bad choice. But how about this one? Tweak rips a mace out of Grozini's hands. God, that sucks to be her. Him. Uh, Yeah, are we going to see Grozini immediately the first one murdered here? Because Tweak uh, grabbed the mace? Baller. Baller move, honestly. Yeah, that's a total alpha move, really. (laughs) Oh, my God. Poor Sally. Girl Zini, Bike Pump, Wes, and Senior Tripolsky raid Sally's camp while she's hunting. Listen, I called it earlier. Wes and Senior Tripolsky, whatever his name is, are going to be a menace. They're going to be a menace. They're, they're, They're hot players. They're coming in wild and aggressive. I, You know, keep your eyes, I would say, you know, on them. Yeah, for real. They're already coming out swinging. M travels to higher ground. Do you know what? Yeah. That is a tried and true str- strategy. Yeah. Professor Candy Cats chases Captain Obvious. You know okay. what? That makes total sense. She's know, a cat. He's an owl. Well, that it, there it's it is. Bird. Right. It's, it's cat, and, cat and bird. The, the classic cat and bird problem, right? What happens when your cat murders the owl? That's just I hope that's find the out. circle of life right there. Boner stabs Wind <gasps> Chillix while <laughs> the back I is turned. Oh, my it. God. He is the fifth Hokage, Fist of the North Star, Unstoppable Demon Slayer Man. God, that was he, already. He, just just so you guys are aware, he just Omaiwamo oh Shinderud that guy. <laughs> Nothing personnel <laughs> kid. He actually backstabbed him. Holy shit. And then immediately after, bored under the sun, repeatedly. Oh he my repeatedly God. stabs Flirty, Flirty to of, death with the oh, size. Flirty out of the game round one. Who else died? Who who who's the one that just died? Oh Flirty? my God! It's Flirty and Winchilix. 
Poor Flirty. Rest, Two times yeah. in a row. <laughs> Rest in pieces, Flirty. Get fucked. Oh my god. My goodness. Sidui runs away from Ritsu. You know what? I would too. Remember, Ritsu's got the size also. Creeper on TNT practices his archery. All right. Gotta watch cool. out for that. That's how I got killed last time. That's yeah. Vigilante killed me yeah, with her archery. Arrow. Arrow just directly to the dome. Yep. Uh, kind of practicing her William Tell. Oh, this feels good to see. Wholesome Vigilante and Tweak work together for the day. One of them is going to backstab the other one. I fucking guarantee it. There's 10,000%. One of those two is dead next round. The weirdo Maxim chases Damien Castaway. God, putting that running to good use, huh? Everybody's running just nonstop. <laughs> you know, it's like maybe a fun thing. We don't know that that's, that's a good point. Malicious. Yeah, maybe they're just relaxing, you know? Yeah. I, I imagine this is very stressful for everybody involved. You know, you got to relax any, you any chance what? you can. Ace searches for firewood. All right. Ace is going to... Uh, very Ace. exciting, Ace. Thanks, thanks. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> I wish it was like Ace starts a fire. No, we just got the we got the early edition. He hasn't even made the fire yet. Anyway, Infocate questions his sanity. I know it says her, but that is a man. We're just gonna oh. look past that typo. <laughs> Dark Custom attacks Little Jack, but he manages to escape. <laughs> oh, I thought he died again. I thought he was out. You started reading. I saw his portrait. I was like, rest in peace, Little. Oh my God. Yeah, he was. I was ready for oh it too. That's. God. Very close to coming to death. I was, I, I felt like I, I felt the surprise that the, the viewers at home are gonna feel. Oh. Ash also oh. travels to higher ground. Where? Ash and M. Ash. And yeah. M. Do you think both of them are just chilling together at, at the top? I mean, look what happens when you put their names together. You get mash, which is what they're gonna do to their competition. I know it. I'm calling it here. That's a good point. Oh. Oh, wind chill. Oh, fallen did die. tributes. Two cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Wind chillix and flirty so sorry so so sorry flirty that has to sting that really has to sting getting killed in the first round two can't, times in a just, row yeah just can't feel good just i just i can't even imagine being flirty right now and what he is feeling right now because it must be awful oh my just god the worst uh-oh infocate's got an infection he's trying to treat it this that is sucks why you, yeah, this is why you don't put water in your ears. Everyone, this is like, it's, yeah, it's, that's common knowledge. Ace is awoken by nightmares. Oh man, he probably watched both Winchillix and Flirty get stabbed get, to death. Get stabbed to death. Oh yeah, my now God. He's like, oh my God, this was a real bad idea, wasn't it? Why would I voluntarily come back to this a second time? Yeah, God, I'm such an idiot. Why did I think this would be fun? This wasn't a fun vacation. Professor Katz and Ash both sleep in shifts. Nice. Well so much for that. Wes ambushes Mr. S Senior Tripolsky and kills him. Senior Trumpet? God, what? already dead. Wes, Wes ain't playing any games. He coming out swinging again. Wes, you goddamn serial killer. You just, I cannot believe that Dr. Trumpet falls this early in the game. God, that sucks. Oh my god. That, that's not really a surprise though, you know, coming from Wes. You remember how he was the last he game? Was so he upset. was so upset. He was he was on a murderous spree and it was only ended by my cunning. You didn't do anything. It was mother I, nature, I'll have you know. I ha orchestrated the entire operation, honestly, if we're just being honest with each other. Zadui begs for little Jack to kill him. He refuses, keeping Zadui alive. Wait, god. little Jack? Little, see, this was little Jack chickening out. Lil Jack couldn't. Lil Jack didn't refuse. Lil Jack just wimped out because he can't handle this kind of competition and this kind of this kind of stress. He wasn't cut out for this. I mean, you can't really blame him though. He is our youngest competitor here. You know what? What do you really expect someone to do? M, Captain Obvious, Wholesome Vigilante, Bike Pump, and the Weirdo Maxim sleep in shifts. Jesus Christ, got a whole tribe going on. Yeah, I mean, you know what? Tribe is the smart move. But as they say, it takes one Wholesome Vigilante to totally ruin your fucking sweet tribe and murder everyone. Yeah, that uh, is so true. Listen, that's a age-old adage, but I expect to see good things coming out of Wholesome Vigilante right after this happens. She's going to turn on him, and when she does, it's going to be glorious. A board under the sun starts a fire. Got it. Yeah. I mean, nice. you got to stay warm. That's Simple, just, that's I guess. basic survival. Yeah. Creeper, Girlzini, Boner, and Tweak sleep in shifts. That whole sentence is <laughs> something I never thought I'd say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's certainly an odd group, but it's like a smaller tribe. It's like a like a sect, really. Sally thinks about winning. You know what? Right. Don't we all? Don't yeah. we all? But, you know, put put a little more effort into it, Sally, because we all just can't be winners, okay? Well, you know what? Ritsu also thinks about winning. Yeah, well, you know what they say. There's no I in winning. 
Dark Customs passes out from exhaustion. Oh no. I'm not that sure sucks. what is his what is his avatar? What is that avatar? Is that a duck on, that on is, a lake? Or is I that think, someone standing with a cape? I believe that is a person with a bunch of like light flares behind him. Oh, Damien sets up camp for the night. Alright. It's reasonable. Strong. I just I just don't put a lot of faith in someone whose avatar looks like they're always nervous. Real nervous. nervous That's people true. Don't, nervous people do not do well in battle royales. Oh, he did get killed last time too, so wow. I think I would be a little nervous. Try not to die, Damien. Day two. Sally camouflages herself in the bushes. That is literally genius. That's <laughs> actually, yeah, they call it a ghillie suit, and it's effective for a reason. Smart play, honestly, coming from Sally, the newcomer, did not think that we'd see this quality of play out of someone so early in the day, you know, this early in the game. Yeah, she had, she came in with a plan, and boy, she's sticking to it. Yeah, now she's executing that plan. Let's hope she executes someone else soon. <laughs> I'll be here the entire broadcast. Oh, uh, good one. Infucate injures himself. Wow, uh, that was fast. Yeah. He was just treating his infection. He was like, you know what? What if I just stab my leg again? <laughs> yeah, what if we just like break the other ankle too, just to really get into it? It's. I don't think he's going to win the Hunger Games. Captain Obvious goes hunting. Hopefully oh, that's hunting smart. For, yeah, hopefully hunting for a weapon more specifically, because I don't think Captain Obvious is uh, prepared. Wholesome Vigilante accidentally detonates a landmine while trying to arm it. Out in day oh. two, an unbelievable upset from Team Wholesome. Wow, what a way to end it, too. Jesus, that's some bad luck right there. Boner and Dark Custom split up to search for resources. Bike Pump poisons Ritsu's drink, <gasps> but then mistakes what? it the for his own cross. and then dies. <laughs> The double, cr the self double, cr what is it? What is a self double cross? You double crossed yourself. I don't know. How does that happen? Bike pump poisons Ritsu's drink, but mistakes it for his own. <laughs> you know what? You know what? That That's not what went down. I'll tell you oh. what really went down. Bike pump poisoned Ritsu's drink. Ritsu outplayed the double cross, switched the plate around to the other side, poisoned bike pump. You know what? That, that makes a lot of sense. I can totally see Ritsu doing that, yeah. That is a hot take for you folks at home. This is a cover-up. This operation, huh, this is this is only the tip of the iceberg, I'm telling you. And then Girlzini's just over there picking flowers. Okay, you know what? Cute. The insanity play. I, I feel it. I respect it. I guess. Ash diverts Ace's attention and runs away. Diverts his attention to what? Probably Girlzini picking flowers. He's Ash is probably like, yo, what is he doing picking flowers? And he's probably like, you know what? What the hell is he doing picking flowers? <laughs> Lil Jack severely slices M with a sword. <laughs> oh my god. That's not a good position to be in. I can think of a lot of position and that, that would not be among my top five. I agree. Bored under the sun searches for a water source. So Simple, first he camp, functional. Yeah. Then he's just then he's searching for a water source. You know what? Again, survival. He's just he's in it for the long game. Holy shit, Wes at it again. He attacks Professor Katz, but luckily, oh. Katz managed to escape. Now, Wes, if you remember, murdered Dr. Troubadour of the uh, of the St. Patrick's Day, right? In the last one, by, wait, it was a sword? Uh, he, he just... Did he sword him? Killed him. He, Wes is on fire right now. Good for you, Wes. Keep up the murder. <laughs> Keep up the murder. Yeah. Way to go, bud. <laughs> You're really murdering great so far. Hope you make it to the end. <laughs> Tweak, Creeper, Zadui, and Maxim raid Damien's camp while he's hunting. Oh, that's some this bad is, luck right there. This, this is just not going great that's for a, him. He looks That's nervous why he's all the nervous time. about. And then he got robbed. Yeah, cool. he was anticipating something like this would happen. And then, you know, unfortunately for him, it just happened. Yeah, unfortunately, Tweak just ran up and stole all your shit because she's tweaked out on fucking Coke. You know, that's why they call her Tweak. Oh, here we go. Fallen Tributes number two. Four oh. cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Senior Tripulski the Vagabond. Wholesome Vigilante. Bike Pump <laughs> and M. So remember how I said earlier that Senior Tripulski the Vagabond was actually here previously? Oh, he was the mystery. He was the mystery He was the guest. mystery contestant. Oh, it's a, it's a shame that it didn't that. quite work out for him, but that was actually Billob. That Coming back Bill for Ob. round two. That was Bill Ob. What? Yeah. All right. Night two. Boner convinced. Boner. <laughs> <laughs> Boner convinces Wes to snuggle with her. <laughs> oh. 
All right, oh. good for you, Wes. Yeah, I, you wait. guys are going to have some great snuggles tonight. Way to, way to go, Wes. You snuggle with Boner. Have a great time, bud. <laughs> Candy cat cries herself to sleep. She, she's probably watching all of this happen oh. from a distance. She's like, first Wes tries to stab me, and then he's going to snuggle with Boner. <laughs> oh, you hate to see it. <laughs> I would cry too if I saw that. Dark Custom kills Maxim for his supplies. God damn. The, That's just the right there. Boom. Dead. Just, yeah, not even, not even, not even a weapon to speak of. Just probably murdered him with his bare hands. You know, his I little... bet you Maxim was probably asleep too. Yeah, and then Dark comes up with his little, with his little flippers, right? Because he's a duck. You can see in the photo. And he just puts his little duck flippers right around his his neck and probably in like a V shape, right? And you cut off circulation, boom, he's dead. He's out. Creeper on TNT tries to sing himself to sleep. That's what, definitely whatever creepy. Whatever works. Yeah, whatever works. I, I guess, the, yeah, whatever works, sure. Zadui over there probably trying to go to sleep too, listening to this creepy ass singing off in the distance. He begins to yeah. question his sanity. Am I hearing things? Yeah. What the hell he's... is this noise? What am I hearing? Ritsu quietly hums. Oh my god. And he's got yeah. Ritsu on the other side too. Yeah. They got a, they're got. they starting a fucking battle royale chorus or a choir. Great. <laughs> Good job, guys. Way to really focus on the money here. Ace over here, still unable to start a fire. He was collecting firewood the past day, but still unable to start that fire. That sucks. Damn. How does it feel to not be able to finish? I'd probably cry myself to sleep. You know, he's yeah. probably trying to start that fire all day and then he just has... nothing. Lil Jack convinces Tweak not to kill him, only in turn to kill Tweak himself. What that little, oh my God. Tweak, I really, you know, that this is, I think the most surprising, you know, to be honest, I didn't even expect she was gonna make it to the end, so. Well, you were right about that. I just can't believe Lil Jack Actually really just. Really did it. He did. She Not offered him some mercy, and he was like, shame on you for doing that to me. Now you're yeah. dying right here. What a what a badass move. He turned the tables. Damien Castaway passes out from exhaustion. What you was know what? Damien? Right, because Damien got his He got his robbed. crap raided. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so and what else is go. he going to do? Yeah, pick berries in the forest and try not to get poisoned, and then he passes out from exhaustion. It's not a good Yeah, break. all of his supplies were taken. You know, he had no home to go back to, no no camp. So he just went bored under the sun, thinks about winning. Yeah, not a solid <laughs> a lot strategy. Of, we I'm sure that'll help one. you out a lot. Yeah, yeah. L let me know how that works out for you when you're thinking about winning when fucking West comes over here with a baseball bat. Ash cries herself to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Again, you, you hate to see it. Uh, and Sally then, in turn, screams for help. Oh my Ooh. god, everybody's falling apart. Yeah, yeah, this is, you know what, I've seen stronger groups before, and this is just, this is not it. Girlzini's still going strong with the insanity route. He's just staying up all night, just rocking back and forth, waiting for someone to come. Infucate defeats Captain Obvious in a fight but spares his life. Interesting. They probably felt a connection. He probably saw that he was a fellow bird, you know? It was like, right, I can't people. do this to my brethren. The bird people, it makes perfect sense. Day three, Creeper collects fruit from a tree. Damien Castaway tries to sleep through the entire day. Yeah, he must really be exhausted. Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, he's been having a real rough, real rough week so far, not gonna lie. Professor Katz diverts Captain Obvious' attention and runs away. He's probably just but like, look, Damien's sleeping. <laughs> but this this is a reversal now. This is a reversal because before Professor Katz was going after Captain Obvious, but I guess somehow he he turned he turned the tables. Dark Custom and Little Jack threaten a double suicide, but they fail Dude. and die anyway. Wait, is doesn't that mean it's a success? <laughs> yes, I would say if so. If your suicide attempt fails, but you die and it failed be, and you die because it failed, doesn't that mean it technically did not fail? Maybe they tried to trick each other into doing a suicide. Like, no, you do it. No, you do it. Either way, you know, it, obviously it worked for somebody because that's two more people out of the competition. It's like that meme where the task bar pops up the thing that says task failed successfully. That's oh my God. Zadui so runs away from Sally. Sally was previously hiding in the bushes. So maybe she popped out with kind of like a, a yell and a scary face. Probably just jumped out. Ah, I'm coming to get you. Exactly. Exa that was actually, I just thought that Sally was here with us right now. That was, <laughs> that was actually such uh, an amazing voiceover. Boner, Wes, and Ace start fighting, but Wes runs away as Boner kills Boner Ace. Boner kills Ace, my guy. 
I am oh, so sorry. That is probably number one ways I don't want to die, getting killed from a boner. Oh, that is awful. Wes saw what was happening just after. Boner and Wes had just been cuddling the night before. And I then know. they start fighting. It's a love lover's quarrel. It's classic. You know what? Maybe Ace came up on them in the middle of the night and was like, yo, what are you guys doing? Yeah. Hey, Wes, I thought we had a thing. And then I find you here sleeping with Boner? a classic love triangle. Ash receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Who the hell is sponsoring Ash? Yeah, that... <clears throat> yeah, who... Right, I mean, obviously, who is? Ritsu, Bored Under the Sun, Girl Zini, and Infocate hunt for other tributes. Okay, they're right, doing but... a very bad job because, holy cow, did stuff happen. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this round, honestly, more people committed suicide than that whole tribe of people got done. They need to really step up their game there. Oh shit, an arena event's happening. Oh. Carnivorous squirrels start attacking the tri the tributes. Carnivorous squirrels? Carnivorous squirrels. Captain Obvious is brutally attacked by a scurry of squirrels. Creeper survives. Um, Ash survives. Sally survives. Damien survives. The squirrels separate and kill Boner and Professor Boner Katz. No. And can Professor Katz together? That wow. That is historically tragic. Not going to lie. Low key, I was rooting for Boner. I, I was rooting I was, for Boner. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, let's just be real here. I think we all were. I think we all were. Okay. I think we can admit that much to each other. God, that sucks to see him go. Ritsu survives. Board is brutally attacked by a scurry of squirrels. The squirrels separate and kill Wes and Girlzini. Wes out again. Oh my god, just how many freak accident are, a second how, time. How many people? Yeah, I mean, a group of squirrels? Who could, No one expects that, right? I said that in the beginning. You know, you don't expect to get killed by a group of squirrels, and first it's like a natural disaster, and then, oh my goodness, back-to-back -back defeat for Lord Wes. Well, you know what? One thing's for certain. No man, no person has killed him. That's true. That is actually surprisingly true and apt. That is... I, you know what? I'm really most surprised that, that you just said that because that's like, that's that's so true. And I, I believe most of the stuff that comes out of your mouth is typically garbage, but that was that was tremendous. Infucate survives, Enzidui survives. I just don't know God. what's happening anymore. How many people are dead? Holy oh, sh 11, 11. 11 people died the last many, round. Who is even still alive? Oh my alive? God. Are there two people alive? I have no idea. Jesus Christ, Jesus. 11 cannon shots can be heard in the distance. The Weirdo Maxim, Tweak, we saw Dark it. Customs, oh, was... Lil Jack, Didn't make it. Ace, Didn't make it. Captain Obvious, Didn't make it. Boner, Good Professor tragedy. Katz, <laughs> Bored Under the Sun, Wes and Girls ah. Me. <laughs> Wes loses again. Again. God dang, the gods just hate Wes. <laughs> the gods just do not like him. Oh, so all these people are alive. One, two, three, four, five, My six, God, there's seven only seven people. people. Zadui, Ash, Infocate, Damien, and Sally sleep in shifts. I don't even blame them, really, for the freaking freak squirrel accident that just happened. Like, what the hell? This is just, this is an interesting cast. I wonder if they're grouped together because, you know, they're all kind of that timid, we're not actually going to kill anyone kind of thing. And I think Creeper or Ritsu is going to murder the entire group of them. I mean, Creeper just did receive an explosive from another sponsor. I don't know who keeps Galaxy. giving these people these explosives, yeah, but uh, something's going to happen. And right, and we should obviously investigate that very seriously. Um, after, 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 after. And then Ritsu tends to his wounds. Uh, now, how did Ritsu sustain? He probably got nicked by a squirrel. Okay, well, All that's said, he's, he's dead. Yeah. He just said he survived. You know, that's it. Not that he didn't get bit or almost killed. You know, he just survived. Ooh, the feast. The cornucopia oh. is replenished with food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the tribute's families. Oh, so you can get a nice card, or maybe like one of those little, uh, one of those little things that grandmas have on their shelves that are like the white porcelain, and they're like the angel statue. You know, something. I mean, maybe, maybe somebody did. Zadui certainly did. Creeper killed him for his own supplies. For his supply, he could have got. There's a whole list of supplies, but he specifically wanted Zadui's supplies. Infocate decides not to go to the feast. I'm that's, gonna stay home. <laughs> that's probably a good idea, because Ash spears Damien in the abdomen on the way to the feast. Totally, you could you could you survive know, that. 
totally survived getting stabbed in the stomach. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's just a flesh wound. Yeah. It's probably not that bad. <laughs> Sally and Ritsu both decide not to go to the feast. You know what? That's fine. Day four, Ash is pricked by thorns while picking berries. Poisoned. Ash is yeah. dead. Yeah, I don't think I would pick berries from a uh, thorny bush, personally. Yeah, it's telling you to stay away for a reason, and you didn't heed the warning. You're dead. Creeper and Ritsu hunt for other tributes. Smart. You're just teaming Got up. It. That's best basic survival. Then Inficate over here is fishing, unaware that both Creeper and Ritsu are just out for blood. He's it's just not. nonchalantly trying to catch a fish. And then Sally travels to higher ground. That is honestly a very smart option. Got the higher ground. You can see yeah. everything that's going on. But what has happened to everyone who's gotten higher ground so far in this game? Let's just be honest with each other. They've died. You know what? That's true. Well, actually, no, Ash was on the higher ground. Oh, right, because Im and Ash, right, but Im definitely died, like, way early. I mean, I imagine Ash quickly learned that lesson. It was like, I am never going back to the high ground. But the two fallen tributes, Zadui and Damien, poor guys. Night four, Sally thinks about home. <laughs> this was really a bad idea. Why did this, I do this? Why would I ever go to the Hunger Games? Who <laughs> thought that was a good idea? <laughs> Fuck, it was me. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Ash tries to treat her infection. Okay, they, what is, that's what is tries? Tries. Like she I mean, I don't succeed? know. She got she got pricked by a mystery bush. Oh, so she you, did. who knows what's going to happen? Poison. I called it, you know. She's dead. Ash has already been dead this whole time. Ritsu accidentally detonates that landmine the mysterious sponsor gave him but, while trying to arm it. But accidentally, I mean, he could still be alive, right? I mean, that's, you know. Uh -huh. he's, yeah, sure. Meanwhile, Creeper. Creeper convinces Inficate to snuggle with him. Very interesting. That sounds how, like a trap. That Yeah, that sounds like a, just a quick way to get get stabbed, honestly. If you hear someone convinced somebody to snuggle with him, that does not sound like a good yeah, idea. Yeah, that does <laughs> actually sound a little bit hostile now that you mention that. Ash falls into a pit and dies. <laughs> Ash, goodbye. <laughs> Holy shit, Ash. We thought you were going to die from infection, not from a random pit. That is real bad luck. That's it. That's just GG's right there. <laughs> that's that's GG no reef for Ash, almost making it to the final. Infucate receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Okay, that was not me. Nice. That was actually not me. I what do you mean that wasn't you? When did you give would... the other? Who did you give? Nothing. And no one. I'm just saying that this specifically is actually not me. Okay. Okay. I just, I, I got a little confused for a minute, you know? Sally tries to spear fish with a trident. Where did she get a trident? Well, I, where did she learn to fish, more like? <laughs> got her. <laughs> She's not catching any fish, let's be real. And then Creeper goes hunting. Hunting yeah. for who, though? Hunting for animals? Hunting for I the mean, both. tributes? Both, probably. Both. You know Creeper what? Prey is, is prey, you know? Right. Yeah. Creeper doesn't care as long as it runs. Oh, the two more tributes. Ritsu and Ash. All right, so we're we're coming up we're coming up to the last last three. Yeah, right on the last three. Night Here five. Sally tends to her wounds. Uh, a conservative play, sort of what we've come to expect from Sally so far. Honestly, not surprised. Yeah, she has been the most consistent though, too. You know what I mean? Yeah, but let's see if consistency wins her the game. Creeper loses sight of where he is. <laughs> it's uh, just lost. <laughs> in in the Hunger Games. I mean, it's, come on, it's not that hard, Creeper. You you should be better than this. And then Infucate climbs a tree to rest. Well, you know what? That's where he lives. Just look at his picture right there. He's already in a tree. Yeah, that, that's actually, you know, that makes perfect sense. You can see he's an owl. Owls are going to go to the top of the tree. Mm -hmm. But, you know, is it going to win him the game when he's out there saying hoo, hoo, hoo real loud? <laughs> I don't think so. Infucate tries to spear fish with a trident. Yeah, went to the same fishing school as Sally, I suspect. Creeper hunts for other tributes. Not All right, these people changed. need to hunt a little harder. They're, they're, yeah, they're falling apart they're here. Losing, they are, they're losing focus is really what's happening here. You know, we're getting through an entire night and entire day of, of Martha Stewart crafting. Like I on. know. Sally, again, traveling to the higher ground. I don't know what she's trying to look for. Maybe a purpose in life? Yeah. Maybe she's looking for the other tributes. They all have a hard time, apparently, finding each other. Well, they yeah, they one of them did just get lost. And then the other, yeah, it makes sense. They all have never seen a map. They don't... They never took a scout course. What? Now they're just... Are you? Are you out of your fucking mind right now? They're just having are, a chat. <laughs> you know? Are, they're just what? sitting around a table like, yeah, so uh, what, what's going to be going on tomorrow morning? In my 19 years of doing this job watching Hunger Games matches, I've never seen anything more appalling than all of the competitors sitting down and having a discussion. This disgusts me. Just having a little tea party. 
before the next morning. <laughs> believable. This is insanely disrespectful, and I won't stand for it. Infucate receives clean water. Okay. Creeper tries to spear fish. They, all they right. All Sally's just thinking about. School. Oh my god. Are you guys gonna get to it? What is? What is this? Is this allowed? Oh my fucking god. Are you, Sally and Creeper are holding hands now. Are you, okay. I. What? What has this become? What has our I, game devolved into? I signed up for this job to watch people get brutally murdered, not to be starting weird weird relationships with weird people oh boy it's unbelievable it's just what it is unbelievable and infocate sleeps in the cold boohoo <laughs> sally's going crazy infocate yeah, gets medical I guess, supplies i guess i guess she broke up with creeper creeper again hunting for tributes he is really bad at this this has been like three days without a death oh my god now creeper and infocate are just sharing homes. are you kidding me creeper cheats on sally literally the day later oh my god this she, is this is a fucking soap opera. That's what this is. It is. And Sally over there setting up camp for the both of them. Like, man, I really hope Creeper comes home tonight. Oh, shit. She found oh, out. She <laughs> fucking ended him. She got him cheating. Hop, hop. Sally pushes Creeper off a cliff during a knife during fight. During a knife fight? What? She did not appreciate him sleeping with Indicate. Oh, my Sally, God. Darn you defended a knife fight by pushing him off a cliff? after he cheated on you. Oh my God. That's hardcore. And then somewhere along the way, Infocate got dysentery. That's- Sally won! Sally what the won. fuck? This yep. was a mind blowing twist that no one saw coming, Hop. This has been, I take back every negative thing I said. This has been the most legendary Hunger Games I have ever commentated for. I actually, the twist. It is, I know, like, that Sally really proved, honestly, then. Slow and steady. Definitely won the race. She played the snail the entire time. And then you know what happens? You cheat on the snail, you get pushed off a cliff in a knife fight. That's... <laughs> yeah. classic play. The, the classic, classic play. Reversal. Oh, my God. Defended a knife fight and then pushed Creeper off a cliff in a, in a jealous lover's quarrel that ends in Sally's victory. Not going to lie. I wasn't expecting that, you know intermission i guess that little soap opera they decided oh to play goodness. for us <laughs> it really was it was like a whole love triangle unfolded with the whole the whole progression it's like the greatest soap opera i've ever seen played out right in front of us hop i don't know that we're ever gonna see a better battle royale done ever for real that was good sally congratulations that was good just congratulations good for you to sally yeah really way to way to go sally top-notch play but can we talk about flirty <laughs> Yeah, let's go ahead and talk about Flirty just for a second. Dying on the first day again. Flirty, I I really, I feel <laughs> no sadness for you whatsoever because I'm an awful person and that brought me so much joy. <laughs> Almost as much joy as when Lil Hop couldn't step up to the plate. All right, that, that was a very exciting uh, Hunger Games. So, if you know, if you were going to give an award to maybe your favorite play of the game, your favorite player... Your favorite event? What? Where would you? Where'd you put that on the board right now? How you? How you feel now that we're at the close of the game? I'm not gonna lie. I think Sally's play right there at the end is probably my favorite. You know, I she think? walked over to Creeper's place, saw him with Infocate, and then was like, "What the fuck is going on?" Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. they got into a knife fight, and then he just she just yeeted him off a cliff. Yeeted off the cliff. Right? She comes back. No one expected that from Sally. We counted her out basically round one. Or at least the part that she was, you know, hiding in the bushes, popping out of bushes. Right? It didn't seem like the play is someone who was going to win the Hunger Games. Absolutely. And then Wes, <laughs> Wes with his ninth place, again, taken out by a force of nature instead of any actual man on this, on this contest, this competition. All right. So I guess we're going to end that there. That was my excellent co-host, Sonaket. Yeah, um, helping me host this. So thank Boom. you very much. You're welcome. And to, you know, to all of our contestants, uh, the odds were not basically in any of your favors, surprisingly. So that's unfortunate. <laughs> so hey, if you guys enjoyed this, definitely let me know down below. If you want to play, leave a comment. Let me know. I will Smart. let you in. And then yeah, Smart. we'll see what happens from there. Bye everybody. Bye everybody. Yeah, we'll see you in we'll see you in Battle Royale three. What, what would what, what would it be called? Like the Hoppening? Battle Royale 3, The Hoppening. I like that. Hello.